How to install a Conexus L1 Smart Door Lock Open the door and keep open until the installation is complete. Remove the fixing screws on the internal handle. Make a note of which holes the screws went through, whether the top screw was above and or below the lever handle. Remove the cylinder by taking out the cylinder screw beneath the bolt. Please note you may need to insert and turn your key to enable the cylinder to be removed. Keep this screw to one side. Measure the thickness of the door and the distance between the centre of the lock and the inside of the door. Select from fixing pack B, C or D depending on your door thickness. Please note fixing pack A contains the hardware for all installations. Select between the short or long tail bar from the fixing pack using the measurement from the centre of the lock to the inside door. Push the tail bar into the actuator up to three clicks depending on the door measurement. Insert the actuator into the door. If it does not fit, ensure the cam is within the housing. If the cam isn't in the housing of the actuator, use the end of the tail bar to push down the pin, which will allow you to put the cam into the housing. Loosely secure the actuator in place using the new screw, which is the same length as the one you put aside earlier. Now take your new external handle. Depending on where you remove the earlier screw, above and or below the lever handle, screw the lug into position. Insert both spring sets into the cavity in the back of the handle. Both go into the same cavity. Ensuring the lever is the correct orientation for your door, take the spindle from the fixing pack you selected earlier, making sure it is pushed all the way into the lever. Push the cable guide and spindle through the door. Slide the lugs up and down to align with the holes in the door. Remove the cable guide, this is no longer required. Mount the internal fixing plate, making sure the cable goes through the bottom slot. Remove the new screw from your chosen fixing pack and insert either above or below the lever depending on where it was previously. This will correspond to where your lug was installed in the previous step. It can help to remove the internal handle slightly, so you can line up the screw with the lug. Do not tighten fully at this stage. Fit the alignment tool to the internal fixing plate, making sure it is pushed all the way on and the handle is parallel to the door on both sides. Tighten all the screws fully. Please ensure that the alignment tool is flat against the door as the screws are tightened. Remove the alignment tool, being careful not to remove the spindle. This is no longer required. Take the cable and push it into the slot in the back of the internal handle, lining up the two red sides of the connector. Make sure the arrows on the tail bar housing are pointing up. Mount the internal handle onto the door over the spindle and tail bar. Please note that the thumb turn should not be moved until the installation is complete. Remove the radio and battery covers. Tighten all the screws in place, ensuring the handle stays aligned. Make sure the lever handle operates freely once the screws are tightened. Insert batteries and attach the battery cover. Now hold the R button for 15 seconds, waiting for the two beeps. Depress the lever handle fully and release. Then lift the lever handle fully. You will now need to pair a card or tag. Press the R button to start. The light on the front of the lock should now turn purple. Hold the tag or card against the external reader just under the Yale logo. The light will turn green. Press the R button to finish. The card or tag is now paired. Please note, keep this card or tag on you as a backup credential at all times when leaving the house. Before shutting your door in the frame, please test the following. While the door is open, lift the lever handle to lock. Make sure the motor operates smoothly. Test to make sure the lever handle cannot be pushed down. Push the thumb turn in on the inside handle and turn 180 degrees to unlock the door. Push the lever handle down and make sure it returns by itself. Lift the lever handle to lock again. Tap one of the paired cards or tags on the outside handle under the Yale logo. Make sure it unlocks and the lever handle can be pushed down. Your installation is now complete.